All right, so we have what do we have? Can I go back to Santa Monica for Brother Sal Salvage. That's something that can be done. Take care of the gargoyle. Something that can happen. Going the way of kings up to the house on King's Way. Yes, all right. In the downtown, are there any? Yes. Fine, yeah, right now. I still need the book from the museum. Yes, 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 yes. Okay. So there are a number of things that need to be done, and we should go about doing Hop them. In. I don't have a lot of blood. Hold the phone. Oh, excellent. Someone's going to the urine spot. Unfortunately, someone else is going to use the phone. Oh, no, there's two of you. Why are two of you going to use the phones? All right, here's a question. Can I... Can I jump on this person without being noticed? I really hope so. Apparently. So that's cool. A little bit more? Okay, alright, that's going to have to do. Um, she doesn't care. Lovely. Alright, well I feel better now. Brothers Salvage. That's back this way, isn't it? Yes. Trespassers will be shot. Survivors will be shot again. Okay, yes, yes, very impressive. This is the one part of the game where I can't pick things up and throw them, apparently. Am I stuck back here now? Are you serious? Am I stuck? Oh, okay, I can push this a bit. That's, that's, come on. I'm, I'm, I'm legit stuck. I will also point out the game does not autosave before you go in here, so that's, that's just fantastic. All right, let's do this again. Would you like to... Yes, all right. There we go. That's better. All right. Hello. Please don't throw a car at my head this time. Yes. Um. How am I meant to? What am I meant to do here precisely? Have you seriously blocked the way again? No. Okay. Good. Yep, there's another car that has a totally believable amount of weight. Oh no. Ow. Do not trap me in here. Thank you. This whole section is dumb. Oh. You threw a fireball at me. Well, okay, okay, okay. You're throwing more fireballs at me. Stop it. Cease this madness. Those aren't going to calm down, are they? Actually, I can just go this way. Ha ha, screw you. Can I get through this, please? Seriously? Thank you. Why is there a crane here? Give me Slarity. No! Back off, vampire! Stay the fuck back! I did nothing to you! Yes, unfortunately, are you My afraid of a fight? My work is done. I don't want to, but I'll fight you to the death. Okay, why'd you why? do it? So you can pass judgment on me? So you can decide if those murderers deserve to be gutted? You'll never know how it feels, never! Ah, uh, you broke the masquerade. You think your bullshit vampire rules mean a goddamn thing to me? No. Nothing matters to me. Okay. My family, my children were butchered by small-time criminals just looking to rob a house, steal a car, take whatever. No sense to any of it. No plan, no ransom. Just kill them because why? Because they were there, in the way? Okay, so killing people made you feel better? One of them paid. My whole family dead, my life gone. I'm supposed to let that happen. Uh, I understand. I tracked them down, hunted them, one by one, caught them all. The one you saw in Hollywood. He was the last of them. Ah, oh, so your revenge is complete. Revenge, justice, whatever you want to call it. All I thought about is taking these evil animals, ripping them to shreds, and licking their blood from my claws. Uh huh. Uh, well, then you can get out of life. I don't know. Butchering those Wouldn't bastards nice? was the first time I felt anything since my family was torn from me. I'm sure there are others out there whose crimes have gone unpunished. Sounds like a great idea, but you're looking for excuses to indulge At in beastly nature. At least I put it to use. How many vampires have used their abilities for a just cause? At least I did something! Uh-huh. You better practice I can't out. turn my back on the evil in this world. Humanity gained, really? Just don't turn your back on the masquerade. I answer to anyone and you'll never take me alive, vampire. No one will take from me again. No one! Either we go our separate ways here or one of us dies. Well, that's unfortunate, but, uh... You made me do this. 
you're a you're a werewolf. But you're also far too slow to hit me. All right, potence. Actually, you know what? Give me another burst of celerity, then give me potence. Stand back up. There we go. Now I can land some hits on you. Jeez Louise, Bruhar, weird. Part vampire, part werewolf. What are you? It doesn't matter. Ah, better throw some more celerity on here. And more potence. Ow! This may take a little while. Alright, what I'd like to do is get you off of that corner, because I think I'm stun-locking you over there, and that's not cool. Come here. Come here and you have some. Yes. Annoyingly, I cannot hit you while you are down. Oh, I don't have celerity up. Whoops. Ow. Good grief you're putting up a fight, but that's interesting. Grade Redemption. Not that I needed that. I did need the humanity boost. <laughs> Not gonna lie. Now you might be asking yourself why we're going back downtown at this point in the game. You know, if you didn't know stuff about this game. But, as it turns out, we're being tasked with killing a gargoyle. And wouldn't you know it, somebody had a book on gargoyles. So, Monsieur Le Regent... Monsieur Larichant, are you this way? I believe you are. I could be mistaken, because frankly I don't know my way around downtown even at this late date. But c'est la vie, I know. Right, um, you know, before we talk to him actually, persuasion is four. We should probably bump that up a bit more. Yeah, that's only this. Again, through, through charisma or scholarship. Which would also boost research. Yeah, let's do that. Thanks. Hello, Neonate. How can I be of assistance? Well, do you have a few of minutes course. to talk? I have a question about gargoyles. gargoyles. Why are you asking about gargoyles? Well, because you had a book on one, my what dude. What can I tell you about them? Well, you're not telling me something about them. <sighs> yes, I know something of gargoyles, and of this gargoyle in particular. I had hoped that he would meet his final death. But it seems my creation still lives to torment me. Your creation? Yes. Many years ago, I created this gargoyle to protect the Chantry from our enemies. He was a faithful servant and saved my life more than once. Unfortunately, he became increasingly upset about his role as my protector and wished to be set free. I refused to do so. Finally, he stole away into the night, and I haven't seen him since. I see. Well, unfortunately, Isaac Abrams, Isaac Abrams want me to get rid of him. His disrespect for the Camarilla is surpassed only by his hatred of Lacroix. If he finds out, it will be a source of great embarrassment for the clan and the Camarilla. He cannot learn that this gargoyle was my creation. Do you understand? Of course. I will tell no one of your secrets. I secret. appreciate your discretion in this matter, Neonate. Yeah, huh. What do I yeah. need to do? Take this. It is an ancient ward that may help you on your battle with the gargoyle. You need only carry it on your person to enjoy its protection. Okay. Um, so how do I fight him? With anyway? much difficulty, I'm afraid. Thanks for that. Gargoyles are notoriously resilient. Their hides are made of stone. Firearms will be almost useless. Blunt force is the only thing they understand. All right. Wish me luck, dude. Nice painting, by the way. 
Max, I tell you, you just collect the best art. Oh yeah, the best art. Uh. Oh gosh, you know what? While I'm here, we should probably jump on somebody. Just because... People that we can feed on are in such short supply over in Hollywood. Yes, 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 yes. yes. Thanks. Hi. Mm, rich socialite. Give me your blood. Give me all your blood. Alright, that's an improvement, at least. Anyone else want to come down this hallway? Oh, great. Unfortunately, there are two of you. That's really annoying. And that Lovely bum man. has a really annoying tendency to turn around. Ah, uh, he's just gonna sit there. You're the pits, dude. Where to? Alright, well, we're gonna go to uh, Hollywood. Just walked in. I can't imagine you'd get much of a rise out of Vesuvius, being what you are. Maybe I'll have more luck with you. Maybe. Um. What do you mean? I think we should get to know each other a little better upstairs, where we can be ourselves. Come up to my room. Just 14 little steps. I'll make it worth it. Believe me. Sounds great. Lead the way. Should I put points into flirtation just so I can flirt with her? Nah, not gonna bother. Isn't this better? You and me alone for just a little while. Away from jihad and the nonsense and the dangers. Just the two of us. Hmm. I don't want to spoil the moment, but there's a reason I needed to speak to you alone. Oh, and, and that was uh, just a wild guess you're toward. Oh, yes. What gave me away? Well, uh, your beauty, obviously. I'm flirting. Mm. How absolutely intoxicating. I'm flirting because I can. I'm beginning to think bringing you up here was an even better idea than I thought. The reason I asked you up here is because uh -huh. I and the rest of the Hollywood kindred have been under surveillance lately by hunters. Okay. I didn't want you to say anything that might draw attention. <sighs> All right, I appreciate think it. nothing of it. I'm Velvet. Valor. Call me Velvet. It's been months since I've seen anyone new in here. I was starting to take it personally. And who should finally walk in but a real celebrity? I've heard a lot about you. A so, uh, real celebrity, eh? Wouldn't you like to know about me? Oh, for sure. Uh, but what should I ask? I'm like a book. All you have to do is run your finger down my spine and Crack me open to see what I'm about. All right. Uh, well, <laughs> tell me about your Hollywood. Then we'll get fingers. Wow. Uh, yes. They've been staking out Hollywood for several weeks. They've been in Ash's club, mine, a few others. I think they're whittling down their list of suspects. I'm a bit nervous. Until recently, I had one right under my nose. Yeah, and then uh, they're gone now, I take For it. For a few weeks, one of them was working here at Vesuvius, keeping an eye on the clientele. I found a weapon in her locker, and I fired her. She's still in Hollywood watching my club. And me. Probably the right decision. I could take care of Would her. Would you? I think it might be a little much to ask. I don't. Uh, you don't have to ask me twice. You'd really be willing to do this for me? I won't lie. It's gonna be dangerous. I doubt if it. If you got rid of her, I'd be grateful. Very, very grateful. How very grateful? She works over at the sin bin now. Oh, that her place. Her blonde on top. Broken heart tattoo on the small of her back. Dances under the name Chastity. That's a that bit of a giveaway. giveaway. Oh, you I just want said you that. to understand. I don't want any innocents killed on my account. So if there are other dancers or patrons around, you'll have to lure them away from her. Do it as quietly as you can. No witnesses, please. And be careful using disciplines around the hunter. Well, I will do my best. I'll take care of your problem. This won't take long. I like that answer, actually. Fourteen steps? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, 
9, 10, 11, 12, 13. 14. Oh, okay. I guess she would know. I can't help but notice that they are doing the same dance that I do <laughs> in the club, just, you know, with less clothes. Yeah, okay, but the actual bit of the sin bin is back here. Let's quick save, because I don't really remember how to do this. There are guys watching the peep shows. So, uh, if we blood buff this, can we pick this lock? Below difficulty six. Rawr. How about this lock? Can we pick it? Fantastic. So we're one we're we're one below where we need to be. Ooh, offensive watch. Hold up. If we're one below where we need to be, uh, what is it? Would be security. So let's go put a point into lock picking. Accept that. Come back over here. Pick this. Hurry before blah blah runs out. Bam. All right. Got the money envelope. -y. So, uh, peep show. Lockdown. Guess you're thinking if what's it doesn't work, huh? That's too bad. Guess you should leave. Bye bye. I'm over here. Mopped weekly, yeah, that's, that's great. Alright, now, um, are you still here? No, you left. What just happened? Oh, I accidentally left the building. Well, that was stupid. How did that happen? One, two, three. No one's in here. Great. Now, this is going to be a little bit difficult because we're running very, very low on blood buff, but. Yeah, what are you looking for, honey? Uh, me and you in a private Okay, room. 200 bucks for 10 minutes. Anything you want, you just got to make it quick, all right? Here's the money. All right. Just meet me in the Pleasure Palace, the room at the back of the hall. Your time just started. All right, go back there and get ready. Go, 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 get out, get out, get out, go, go, move, move, move. You got you gotta be past this door that I may close it upon you. Go, leave. Lady. Lady. What art thou doing? There you go. Yeah. loss of innocent life. I can't have your bandana. Oh, you do have a heart tattoo. Huh. How about that? Hey, Chica. <gasps> Don't mind if I do. That was the most expensive meal that I've ever had, but it was worth it. I'm going up to the VIP room, because I clearly belong in the VIP room. I mean, look at me. Look who's back. It is I, Velvet. Couldn't stay away, could you? Oh, we, about that hunter. Mm hmm She dead. Hmm. If we'd never taken the paths we did in life, could we have grown fond of each other? A shame you had to take her life. But you've saved mine, and I won't forget that. Uh huh. Well, all right. Um, I'd kill him off. I could. Why? Are you afraid? Are you jealous of the life you lost? You're as dead as you feel, darling. Oh, I'm starting to feel more alive with you. Mm, you're just saying what I want to hear. Don't stop. Um, don't worry, I won't. But I had a question. Mm -hmm. Uh. What's to do in Hollywood? Mingle, sightsee, chat, 
And, and me, of course. course. Yeah, I thought that might be it. All right, got to go. Would you like poor, to poor throw me Hatter. another quest? You would, yes. The guy who created... David Hatter's an aspiring screenwriter and hotel manager. He comes in more often than he would admit. Several years now. Poor dear just can't get a break. I overheard him talking about his new screenplay with one of my girls. It was about secret societies and creatures that found themselves dealing with inner beasts and persecution by elder monsters. Sound reminiscent of something to you? Uh, oh, there's the Bush administration. No. <laughs> I knew there was a joke about the Bush the administration somewhere in here. Too insightful to be coincidental. I think someone's working with David, a kindred who doesn't realize the consequences of their actions. Do you know what the penalty for revealing ourselves to Kain is? It's a wedgie, isn't it? Death. I'm afraid poor David's big break. The screenplay he's worked so hard on must be destroyed, and his less than silent partner must be executed. executed. I know David too well. I'm very fond of David, and I'm too close to do what needs to be done. I'll bet. All right, so you, I need to destroy his screenplay. I don't think Hatter knows his collaborator is kindred. You'll have to take David's screenplay, and somehow you'll have to coax the name of his source out of him. Once you've found out who, kill the traitor. But do not touch David. Okay. Um, I'll go straighten things out David for you. David works at the Lucky Star Motel. He's very passionate about his writing. He loves to talk about his craft. I'm sure he'll talk about his screenplay. It may take some persuasion to get him to give up his collaborator's name, however. Uh-huh. All right, well, leave it to me. After this is over, I promise you'll have my complete attention. One had better hope. I'll come back with his screenplay. Cheerio. While we're here, let's go kill ourselves a gargoyle. How am I doing on that um blood funnel thing? Oh my god, there's only one blood point in there? Have I not been killing things? I thought I was killing things. You know, there's someone down here at the end of an alley all by her lonesome. No one else is here. I'm just gonna... Yeah. We're just gonna have a little bite to eat. Alright. Thanks. You probably shouldn't stand in the road like that, ma'am. I mean, in the event that a car actually does come through here, you, you, you'd be in a spot of bother. should be. Alright, can we fight? Great. Yeah. Here. Alright. Okay. Uh, why don't we get, um, not blood, but potence. And then another dash of celerity going here. Ooh. Okay, that hurt a bit. It didn't hurt as much as it could have, though. He, unfortunately, he does have this annoying ability where I can't actually flank him. I'm slightly concerned that they didn't render his backside. Oh, they did. Okay. Night. Oh, that's done. Now, you think I'm actually meant to talk to uh, Isaac? Oh, I am. Okay. So. You head to King's Way yet? Uh, not yet, but I did kill the gargoyle for I you. admit, I thought you'd come back here with a stone foot lodged in your backside. Your confidence in me is overwhelming. You otherwise, you've got a lot of promise. It's a shame you're still working full time for the wrong side. One would imagine. Um, I've got nothing against the Anarchs, though. I'd like to hope so. Well, if you'll excuse me. You are excused. Have a pleasant day. Next time on Vampire the Masquerade Bloodlines. Hi. You know, you would think the time dilation powers would mean something more than I get to see death coming at me for longer. Yes, that's, that's exactly what it would mean if your reflexes were any good. Madcap, why are your reflexes terrible? Shut up. 
Well, I'm longing to kick your ass. Gouge out the eyes of the Camarilla. That's not a response to what I just said. 